Uh, first and foremost, the goal of this course is to appreciate the big questions in our field. Okay, understand why they matter, what the theoretical context is for those questions. And the reason I make the big deal about the questions is that we have more questions than answers right now. It's just where we are in human cognitive neuroscience. We have a few little bits of answers here and there, kind of, sort of, maybe, that might change with time. Uh, but the questions are wonderful and fascinating uh, and rich, and the theoretical, con theoretical contexts are, are fun. So that's goal number one. Um, goal number two is to understand the methods and what you can learn from each. And so we'll be devoting this morning's lecture and Wednesdays uh, to just kind of laying out those methods and then these uh, themes of, of the, 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 the synergies and differential strengths of all the different methods will kind of keep echoing through the whole course. Um, goal number three is to actually learn some of the content uh, about some of the domains of cognition that we'll talk about, especially some of the domains where there's actually quite a bit known uh, by this point, like language, like thinking about number, like navigation, like face recognition. Okay, so areas where there's actually a big body of work on a cool topic. Um, and there, my, I know this is always kind of hard to tell and probably um, anxiety provoking uh, for you guys. My goal is not to saddle you with a lot of arbitrary details. I realize that's no fun. That's not what we should be doing here. Uh, at the same time, I want you guys to learn some stuff. So what I would focus on first and foremost are, you know, the, the logic of the kind of experiments I'll talk about. Like, you know, if you don't remember every detail of it, I don't care. What I want, I want, what I want you to get is, what was compared to what in the experiment? What was the main finding? And how did that finding enable the scientist to answer the question, right? And why did that question matter? That's the kind of level. Um, you, I don't care if you remember the name of the researcher or the date of publication. Those are sometimes on the slide. That's just because it's just a glitch academics have. Um, we don't get much except for credit for our cool stuff. And so I can't bear to talk about my friends findings without having their name on the slide, and you can mostly ignore that. I won't uh, ask you to, I won't test you on any of that. It's not interesting to you guys, yeah? Um, okay. Um, another goal is uh, to be able to um, read papers in the current literature, right? Just dive in right to the recent literature. For next week, I've assigned two older papers, but after that, we are going straight to the cutting edge. And I'm, I've tried to make most of the papers assigned in this class published in the last year. Some of them are published in the last two years. And if there's just a gem that's you know, an ancient four or five years old, I sometimes put those in because they were so fabulous. But I tried to um, have very recent stuff anytime, both, whenever I could, both to show you what's happening in the field now and to show you that you can read this stuff and you can dive in. Um, and, as I said, the final goal is to take you right to the cutting edge. 